Welcome back. This lesson's all about semi-breeds. So if you look at the example on the screen, we've got a piece that's made up entirely of semi-breeds. As you can see, they don't have a stick or a stem like crotchets and minims. They're just an oval shaped note head. Looks a little bit like an eyeball. They're the easiest of our rhythms to count in that they last for four beats. So in our groups of four that we've been counting, we're only ever going to play on number one. So we're going to count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's have a go at this example. The exercises on page 11 are rhythms that are made from all three note types that we've looked at. Crotchets, minims and semi-breeves. Let's have a look at an example. In the first bar we've got a semi-breeve, so that means we're only going to play on beat one. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Bar two we've got two minims, so we're playing on beats one and three. One, two, three, four. In the third bar, we start with two crotchets on beats one and two, then a minim on beat three. So we're not gonna play on beat four. So one, two, three, four. And then finally, on the top line, we've got two minims again. So we're only gonna play on beats one and three. One, two, three, four. This exercise uses three strings, the E, the B and the G. Let's go through it together, then you can try all the exercises on page 11 on your own. After playing the exercises on pages 10 and 11, you'll have completed unit one. In this, we've covered holding the guitar, playing rest and free strokes, and we've covered rhythms including crotchets, minims, and semi-breathes. In the next unit, we're gonna look at using our left hand to fret some notes and play some short tunes. So I'll see you then.